Joe. Black Kula. In the middle of my life, I had nothing to lose. Seven, six, five, three. D O B S O N A V E. Seven, six, five, three. D O B S O N A V E. Peace and quiet. Ain't nobody home yet. I can get some work done. Josh! Josh, you in there? Come on, man. I know you in there, Josh. Open the door. Josh! 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 You sleep? Come on, man. Josh, you sleep? Not anymore. Man. I need your help, bro. I really need somebody to talk to. You always need to talk to me. What is it about? It's about Tasha. Where's Tasha? Lil Tasha? Kutasha? Tasha? No, not Tasha. Okay, see, look, this is the problem. Tasha wants to go to the movies on Friday night, right? Which means she's gonna wanna stay over till in the morning. Then Tasha's wanna come over again and then hook up for brunch on Saturday afternoon. Then, Tasha wants to go to the park Saturday evening. But then Keisha is going to want to come over for the movies Saturday night and then stay and go to church in the morning. Who the hell is Keisha? Oh, well, see, that's the new addition to my roster. Yeah, <laughs> roster is right. You got three Tashas and a Keisha. All you need is a Renee and you can have a full starting five. Well, Please. I actually just met a Lachey today earlier. That's close enough. What you need me to tell you? I just need to figure this out. I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off. If all your girlfriends catch you up, this will be the last problem you need to be thinking about getting pulled off. Come on, Jew. I'm serious, man. I really, really need your help, bro. Look, I don't know what to tell you. I never understood why you needed seven girls anyway. Okay, I'll tell you. Josh, you a talented dude, man. Like you write scripts and, and, and you do books and movies and, and, and I don't do none of that. I'm not that smart. And whatever else you're plotting down here in the basement all day long. I get lonely, man. Lonely? I can't see how every time you go to the bathroom it's probably a girl stabbed behind your toilet. <laughs> yeah, true. But that's cold, man. I'm sorry, man, but I don't know what to tell you. Why don't you ask Malika Jimmy? Come on, man. You know I can't ask them. That's like asking a fox what to do as soon as he gets into a hen house. It's nothing but chaos with those two. Look, I'm sorry, bro, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. Plus, I gotta get back to work. What work? Fake and sleep on the couch all the time? Besides fake and sleep on the couch, I want to get back to writing my book. That's crazy, man. I really need your help. You you hear that? They at it again. They at it. See, that's why you can't get your work done. And it looks like I'm not going to be able to make this happen with all this noise. Could you please go upstairs and see what the hell is going on? All right. But I really need your help, bro, okay? I'll be back. No such thing as a full pointer in basketball. I don't care if it is or if it isn't. All I'm saying, if I make the shot from the half court, it should be considered a full pointer. <laughs> this is stupid, man. You are just stupid. <laughs> no, brother, I'm enlightened. You're the one that's stupid. Hey, man. Hey, you're stupid. All right, all right, all right, all right. God. Look, Jimmy, you need to keep your creative thoughts to yourself. <laughs> 
Three times out of a week, three times a week, I have to break y'all two up about arguing about concepts and whatnot. What the? F but Jada, man, I'm telling you, melon ball vodka flavor ice cubes will make us all rich. Here we go with this again. All right, all right, I don't want to hear it, man. <laughs> you just enjoying this, all this, ain't you? I think they are. Yeah, well, I think Jimmy's stupid. And you're <laughs> uptight and close-minded. Yeah, well, at least I got a job. Man, being a security guard at a, at a factory <laughs> that makes ice cubes ain't much of a job. Man, it's a Crazy. check. That's more than I can say for you. You ain't brought no check-in in a whole year. My brother, I live off of the land. Mother Nature takes care of all my needs. Mm -hmm. I'm a natural man. <sighs> oh, now this nigga, he Lou Rawls up in here, huh? <laughs> I'm a natural man. Oh my goodness, now he Gregory Hines up in here. All right, Gregory, Lou, Sammy Davis Jr., anybody else you got up in there, could y'all please take them all upstairs? Just go. All right, my, my fault, J-Dub. You know what I'm saying? I know you're trying to get this book done. Yeah, and uh, let me know if you need any help with that. I got some ideas. Yeah, sure, I'll holler at you when I'm ready to write a children's book about Mary Jane singing about a weed plant. Give me a kiss and then something's wrong with your door? Well, if it's open, it's more traffic and hit a Grand Central Station. <laughs> Plus, I think I have a ghost. A ghost? Yeah, a ghost. One that like being apple juice, too. Why do you think you have a ghost? All my stuff is going missing. Somebody had to take it. What are you doing? Looking for the Ghostbusters. The Ghostbusters? <laughs> yeah, the Ghostbusters. Who better to help me catch a ghost than the Ghostbusters? So, have you tried, like, the internet maybe? Yeah, but there's no one on there I believe. So, I went and grabbed a bunch of books my old man used to stock up. I grabbed one from 84 because that's when the Ghostbusters came out. So, I'm either looking for me some Ghostbusters or some other paranormal police. And how do you think these will help you to do your thing or whatever? Because back in the day, when those movies used to come out, you know, a bunch of little rinky dink companies used to come out. So, hoping they had numbers, because if so, I'm going to hit them up. <laughs> you really believe that? Yeah, I know. It sounds a little nuts. But, a little bit? But I'm telling you, somebody or something has been stealing all of my drinks. I'm talking four Budweiser's and the apple juice. Have you tried asking the people on the first floor if they came down here and took anything? Why? That doesn't make any sense. And an uh, apple juice beer stealing ghost does. <laughs> yeah, I know, I hear you, but those guys know better. <laughs> okay, look, do me a favor. Ask them before you call a Ghostbuster, okay? All right, I can do that. But I'm telling you, if none of them took it, I'm calling Ernie Hudson and Ray Parker Jr. Why Ernie Hudson? Because he was the brother in Ghostbusters. And I know he's going to need Ray Parker Jr. for his theme music. <laughs> Jimmy! David! Malik! Yo! Yo! Wow, that's simple, huh? Yeah, simple as a kiss on the cheek. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> ah, my oh, what's, what's up, up, bro? Hey, hey love. <laughs> so, uh, what's the summoning, my landlordian? Yo. I want us to know, have y'all been noticing anything weird lately? Weird like what? I don't know, like some weird sounds or some bangings in the night? No, nah, only uh, bumps of weird sounds I be hearing is Jimmy and his girl in the living room or me tripping over that damn Jurassic <laughs> or the sound of Dave here throwing his women out the window and the thud from them hitting the ground. <laughs> no, no, man, besides that, I'm talking about something new. 
Uh, mm. Like what, bro? Um. Well, what I think he's trying to say is, have you guys been coming down here, going in his fridge, and taking things without his permission? No. Nope. <laughs> oh, man. I'll do it. Well, just like I thought, boys, we got a ghost on the premises. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Didn't I tell you to? Man, you know what? Ain't nobody trying to hear nothing you got wait, to say, Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I do want to listen. What's up, Jimmy? What's going on? Well, you see, check it out. Last week, you know, I was uh, on the couch chilling, watching Three's Company. Mm -hmm. When uh, all of a sudden I noticed this uh, ghostly figure in the kitchen, and it was floating. So I was scared for a bit. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go check it out. So by the time I got to that kitchen 45 minutes later, that ghost was gone. Wait. Jimmy, Jimmy, why did it take you 45 minutes to get to the kitchen? I was, I, I took a nap. Man, you know what, tell the man what else you was doing while you was watching. Oh, oh, I do not need to know what else he was you doing. Know what, you know what, true, true, my fault. Well, tell him what you was eating while you was watching. I was indulging in the best batch of mushrooms that have ever been known to man. <laughs> See what I mean, though? This man was high out of his mind. You can't believe him. Just because I was high does not make my visual invalid, sir. <laughs> OK, tell him what else you saw. Are you speaking of the purple koala bear that I had the great conversation with about NASA's plan to take us to the black planet known as Planet Ebony? Do you see what I'm saying, bro? Oh, OK, well, it looks like I'm back to plan A. I'm getting some professionals in on this situation. I'm calling the Ghostbusters. Yes, yes, yes. And I've noticed you've been uh, looking too, sir. Yeah, but I ain't had no luck. I can't find any in the books or on the internet. The reason this is is that true professionals have no need to market and promote their services. It's all word of mouth, and um, I know a guy. You do? Indeed I do, sir. He's uh, very professional. Here's his card, and uh, you know, just hit him up. <laughs> Jimmy, there's nothing but an email address on here. No name or nothing. I just said, my brother. True professionals have no need to market or promote their services. I hear you. Well, I guess I'm going to hit them up. Are you serious? Very fine well, sir. <laughs> you know what, man? If you're going to listen to that fool, please let me know how that turns out. Straight up. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Y'all don't love it, You really going to do it? I mean, why not? Nothing beats a failure but a try, right? True, true. And finish. Send. Well, I told him about our problem. That's I hope good. he responds quick, so. Yeah, maybe give him a. Wait a minute. Is that your email on the site? Yeah. Did you order food? No. What buzzer man? Did, did you give him our address? No, he just said he will meet me soon. Did you just let a nut up in here? Oh, you I always do that, don't I? Where's my bat? Wait, the door is unlocked. I'm gonna need you not to be letting nuts up in the house, please. I'll take care of it. I can't get up. Go, go, go. Yeah, how you doing? I hear that you are in need <laughs> of a professional paranormal expert. My name is James. How may I be of service? I can't believe it. <laughs> are you tired of having those pictures of your family that don't include you because you were the one taking the shots? What about precious date night photos where it's either one or the other person in the picture? Call Adonna Ray Photography on your next date night or outing with the family or just friends. We'll capture those moments on any occasion as if you had your own personal photographer for the day. You won't even have to feed us. LaDonna Ray Photography specializes in portraits, lifestyle, product photography, and more. Call 312-602-9626 or visit us on the web at www.lrmedia-group.com. LaDonna Ray Photography and LR Media Group Company. 
Are you hungry? You know that you are. What do you have a taste for? Chinese or Mexican cuisine? Nah, you've already had that earlier in the week. I have an idea. Pizza. But Giordano's is too expensive and Italian Fiesta is entirely too greasy. Papa Luigi's is here to serve all of your party needs and offer the best Italian food for the best price, period. Papa Luigi's caters to the entire city of Chicago, as well as the surrounding suburbs. The fried chicken will rival any bird that Harold's Chicken can fry. And just a taste of Papa Luigi's food will cause you to slap your significant other, which of course will result in a possible arrest and future assault charges, and, and no way are we suggesting or advocating spousal abuse. The pasta selections, as well as the hot wings, will knock you off your feet like a Mike Tyson uppercut in 1987. And the pizza! has been referred to as crack on crust because the taste is so addictive. Once again, we are by no means advocating drug use unless the end result is a trip to Papa Luigi's. Go by and see them at 10729 South Ridgeland Avenue in Chicago Ridge, Illinois. And be sure to tell them that JB sent you. Quality Italian food at its finest. This is Papa Luigi's. Yes, yes, yes. What the hell are you yesing about? Ah, uh, my brother, yes. There's a strong presence in this building, in this room. When the hell did you become a ghostbuster? I'm not a ghostbuster. I'm more of a paranormal linguist of sorts. Get out of my house. And, uh, okay, sir, okay. But, um, and completely understandable, but uh, there will be a $100 fee. One hundred dollars? For what? For my uh, expenses, of course. Expenses for what? Because you, um, you know, I just traveled, you know? Travel? Dude, you just came from the first floor up here. But at that time, I was contemplating my, my next big movement in life, and uh, this paranormal activity forced me to conclude that thought. Jimmy, thank you so much for your time. Oh, you're welcome, my queen. I'll just uh, mail the bill to Julius's mailbox. Goodbye, Jimmy. Okay, I'll kick my own self out. I really can't believe that idiot. Well, you did ask for the whole Ghostbusters thing. Yeah, maybe right, but it doesn't explain what's happening with my drinks. Well, let me get that fixed out. Ain't nobody home. That is not how you talk to folks. Sometimes I gotta tell you that. Come on in. Oh, it's open. Oh, no, man. Look, I need to talk oh. to you. I need to talk to you right now. Right now. Right now. Now what's the problem? Okay. I got a problem. I don't know what I did, how it happened, and I got my dates and my times all mixed up with all my women. Anyway, I, I, I'm just trying to get ready. Okay, this is what it was. I'm upstairs. I'm getting ready. I'm with Tasha. Tasha's sitting on the bed looking so elegant and so pretty. And all of a sudden I hear a beep. Hang, hang, hang. I'm like, what are you doing? Look out, it's Tasha. Pulled up like a bat out of hell. Talking about it's time for us to go to the club tonight. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wasn't you going to the club with Keisha tonight? I don't know, was I? Yes, man. How the hell am I better with your schedule than you are? I don't know, man. All I'm saying is this. I don't know how I got the times mixed up. But look, Tasha's upstairs getting ready. I really need your help. I need you to, to at least talk to one of them. Just help me out. And I got somebody sitting outside in the car. I don't know what I'm going to do, man. You got to help me. Come on, please. Okay, okay, um, okay, okay, okay. okay. What do you, exactly do you want him to do? Okay. I need you to go outside to the car and let her know that I can't come out because the whole building is quarantined. What? Yeah, quarantine! <laughs> no. Okay, answer this for me. How am I going to go outside to tell her anything in the inside of the building is quarantined? I, you know what? I never thought about it that far. Like, that far ahead, I didn't even think about it. But you gotta do something, man. You know, just, just talk to him. All I need her to know, Julius, is this. Just, just let her know that I can't go tonight. I just can't make no, it. No, no, I warned you. I warned you, no. What, what, no. Uh, okay, you know what? I'ma handle it. I'ma mm -hmm. go upstairs, I'ma talk to Tasha, and if she kills me, 
It's going to be your fault. I don't want to die. Come on, Julius. Come on, man. Josh. All right. I see you got me calling you all Julius. Right, all right. All right. I, I'm all scared. Right. Come on. Dave. What is her number? Okay. All right. Thank you. Look. Okay. 773-567-8724. All right. Uh, Tasha? <laughs> Hi, Tasha. It's me, Julius. I'm good. Look here. Um, Dave is not going to be able to come back out the house to take you clubbing tonight. Why? Um, because the building has been quarantined due to an unknown virus from a deadly plant. Yeah. Yeah, he has it. Malik, Jimmy, <coughs> myself. <coughs> um, was he infected when he came out of the car? Yeah, but the CDC said not to let anybody else out until the quarantine was lifted. Why did they tell me? I don't know, because I own the building. Uh, yeah. A virus from a plant, yeah. Say what? You can actually see the plants out of front of the window? Oh, yeah, fine, whatever. Um, I'm sure Dave will be out right out once the quarantine has been lifted. All right, bye. Me happy? Yes, yes, did she go for it? Yeah, I guess, bro. I don't know. Maybe. Man, you just saved my life. Give me a hug, man. Come on, please. Dude, hey, I didn't save anything. I just postponed your death sentence. Now, could you please explain to me what she was just talking about? A plant growing out of my first floor window? Well, see, uh, you didn't know that, uh, they was, like, Ruin stuff upstairs uh, in your living room? Obviously no, Dave. I don't make it my business to see what you guys are growing in y'all front rooms. <laughs> okay, well, this is what she's talking about. <laughs> your man upstairs been doing a lot of crazy stuff with a lot of chemicals and everything else that the plant is just upstairs growing crazy. It's like purple, orange, green. It got like smoke coming all out of them. Boy, you should see it. <laughs> so. That, that, He's growing some type of weird chemical-induced plant inside my building. Oh, you ain't no. see it? Hell no. We got to go see what's going on. You, <laughs> come with me. Now, let's go. Okay, well, we're going we to... You should see it, though. It's, it's Shut huge. up, it's Dave. To my abode. Jimmy, what the hell is that? And why is it growing in my building? This is my inner sanctum, and uh, I've named it Jurassic Fern Gully. And uh, it's my live artwork. How the hell did you even grow something like that? That's a good question, dear. Uh, it took a little bit of uh, natural uh, fertilizations of fruits, vegetables, vegetables. Um, powdered milk um, and some moonlight and catch this. The best batch of some wee <laughs> What I want to know is how in the hell did you pay for all those damn ingredients but come the first of the month you never had half of your rent, brother. That's where you're wrong, my inquisitive brother. She takes care of herself. She grows her own food and sustenance and uh, whatever else Tammy contributes to it. Tammy contributes. I knew you had something to do with this. You guys are like pinky in the brain. I swear I should have known. So Tammy, what was your contribution to this? Uh, oh, me? Nothing much. I talked to him a bit, sing to him, had a little bit of beer, Chinese food, coffee, and maybe a little bit of apple juice. That's it. Not much. Apple juice? 
and beer. <laughs> well, let me just go out on a limb and ask, did that come from my refrigerator? Well, you see the way it's set up, um, I didn't think you were mine. Well, if you knew me enough to think I wouldn't mind, did you know me enough to know that I hate when people go near my refrigerator? What's my rule? Don't touch my stuff. Mm-hmm. So next time you think I wouldn't mind, Look at that note, picture my face right now, and ask yourself, do he mind? Just give him a 24 pack of Budweiser and he'll calm down or shut up. Yeah, a 24 pack would do nice right now. <laughs> well, look at it this way. At least you know there ain't no beer selling ghosts now. Yeah, I guess. Hey, you know what? It'd be crazy if the CDC come. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I don't think that would have to happen. Ring, 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 Hello? Yeah, this is he. Who? What? Oh, man, for real? For how long? Oh, oh wow. Uh, okay. Thank you. Oh, I can't believe this. It was the CDC. <laughs> I guess I am a jinx, my bad. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What did they say? They said due to the suspicion of this plant, they're quarantining the building. What does that mean? That means. They're gonna spend the next two weeks to a month in and out of my building checking on this stupid plant, making sure it don't destroy half of the Earth's ozone. And they said until they find out it's not dangerous, I'm stuck in here with you guys. <laughs> Everybody, let's get comfy. I have a leftover beer and a half a box of Chinese food. No coffee? Nah, we finished that this morning, bro. <laughs>